Hey Church family, Pastor Daniel here, encouraging you again to get involved in Disciple Shift. What is Disciple Shift? Well, it's a set of one-day trainings and courses that encourage you to grow spiritually over the next year, to learn what it means to be a disciple of Jesus, and to grow and learn your calling as a disciple maker within the body of Christ. If you have a desire to grow in your faith, to grow in your maturity, and to grow in your calling over the next year, then these one-day courses are for you. Last uh, Sunday, Courtney gave her testimony about attending uh, DS1 training, and I want to just take a moment to let you hear from her so that you can see how impactful this event could be for you. You guys were one of the, the first people to experience, about a year ago now, to experience this discipleship course. You guys spent a Saturday at my house with another group of believers. Do you want to just maybe share a little bit briefly about that experience? Sure. We, um, uh, I wasn't really sure what to expect, so um, we just kind of... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so, um, now I lost my share of that. Okay, so um, I, I just really liked that um, it was organized, we were on a schedule, and we just learned so much stuff. Um, so, yeah, I'm like, I was getting out. I wasn't sure what to expect. Um, I'm really new to uh, being a Christian, and I'm new to the Bible, so I just, I didn't know what I was getting into, and I felt really comfortable, and I, I felt like I learned a lot. Um, and so share about a little, maybe some of the things that you did learn that, that day. Um, so, I, I really took away um, how Jesus intentionally made his disciples, and that kind of, like, gave a model of, like, what we should be doing, and um, I kind of made some notes on um, how he modeled for his disciples, um, and then he gave them opportunities, and I feel like uh, that's kind of what we do here um, in a small way, um, you know, we kind of learn um, how to be a disciple, and then we have the opportunity to help people, or, you know, um, when Daniel asks for volunteers, or he asks for us to um, get involved in ministries, um, and then that's also how we connect with the people that we're trying to disciple. Um, and then I, what I took the most away was um, how to identify my own spiritual growth, and a little bit with other people, kind of, if they open up and share, I can kind of figure out where they're at. Um, but mostly I took away my, where I'm at in my own growth. Nice. And so, you didn't really know what to expect coming in, you just kind of took a leap of faith were there, was there anything unique or any like good surprises throughout the day that were just uh, really made the experience worthwhile? Yeah, I really liked connecting with the other people in the group, and um, I, f I didn't feel like bored in any way. I, I know sometimes you're kind of like, oh, I'm going to this class, I don't really know what to expect. Um, but, you know, we had this packet, we stuck to like schedule, and then we also had like um, an interactive, um, like we did this wheel of our growth, and so you feel like you're like, really in it, you're not just sitting there taking notes, watching this light show kind of thing. So that was really what I thought was unique. And that's how I like to learn this stuff. Well, thanks, Courtney, for sharing those things last Sunday at church. I think it's helpful for us to hear from people and the experience that they had at something like a disciple shift. Uh, let me remind you of who Woodlands is. Woodlands exists to make disciples of Jesus who can move mountains. If you want to be a disciple like that, that can see mountains moved in your own life and that can help others move mountains through the power of Jesus, then Disciple Shift is for you. We have three one-day courses coming up in the spring. We have DS1, which is Foundations, where we're going to learn about the foundational beliefs of a Christian. We're going to learn about how to apply the Bible um, to our daily life and how to get on that path of following Christ. We have DS2, which is Intro to Discipleship, which is where we begin to understand what a disciple is, we understand Jesus' principles of making disciples and how we fit into that plan. And then there's DS3, which is Advanced Discipleship, where we begin to learn how to lead others in, towards Christ, how to lead others to grow spiritually, and how to lead and engage people in a small group setting. So I want to encourage you again, church, uh, as your pastor, make sure you're getting involved in one of these DS1, DS2, or DS3 in the spring as we all seek to have a shift in our faith to go from casual believers to committed disciples. So have a great rest of your week. I'll see you Sunday, and you can sign up for one of these classes on Sunday.